From Palm Springs, California, it's Curiosity with your host, Renee Poingard. Here's Renee. Hi, my name is Renee Poignard, the host of the new Indie Me TV talk show, Curiosity. I have a question for you. If one of your friends was to walk up to you and give you a hug and say you look good, would you believe it? Or maybe one of your friends says to you, you are the glue that holds all the friends together. Is it true? And maybe that significant other says to you, my whole world is built around you. Do you believe it? Well, let me ask you another question. Are you strong enough? Are you bold enough? Can you deal with the truth of what people say about you? Well, guess what? Our next guest, Marcy, says she can. You do not want to miss this, because I got one more question for you. Did curiosity kill the cat, or did satisfaction bring it back? Don't miss it. Stay with us. Curiosity. Come on back. Feeling bored? Tired of the same old thing every day? Well, maybe you need some excitement in your life. Visit GNAUniversalMedia.com and be bored no more. Welcome back to Curiosity. I'm your host, Renee Pignard, and I'm so excited to introduce our next guest, Marcy. How are you doing, Marcy? I am great. How are you? Wonderful. And I'm so glad that you're here with us. Thank you. So, Marcy, you are single. I am. I'm a single mom of an almost 28-year-old daughter who is wow. the center of my universe, and uh, I enjoy spending time with her, and also I'm a, a new home sales counselor, so my, that's been my career for over 20 years, and really enjoy helping people achieve the dream of home ownership. And, and the other thing about me is um, I'm a proud Marine veteran, so oh, that's wow. something I pride myself in. That's wonderful. First of all, let me say thank you for serving our country. Thank you. And second of all, let me ask you a question. You're going through a lot. So how do you mm -hmm. feel being single, a mom of a 28-year-old, which, by the way, you do not look like you're <laughs> a mom of a 28-year-old, and an ex-Marine? How has that shaped your life? What do you feel it has brought to you and your character? Well, I believe that it's taught me to be uh, have a lot of integrity. Uh, learn to fend for yourself and also be a great team player and uh, it, I've just valued people you know and, and, and experiences. Well you know one thing I learned is that we all do a outside appearance mm -hmm. but what is in your essential soul that you would say is Marcy? Well I believe I'm a very kind person, uh, mm -hmm. caring, uh, vivacious uh, mm. and uh, I believe I'm pretty funny at times um, and uh, fun to be around. And uh, I just think I have a, a big heart. And what one what of those characters do you feel is your key to motivate you, to get you up every day? Uh, what motivates me to get up every day is to, you know, achieve my, you know, dream of, you know, happiness and, and being a, a whole person. I think that's wonderful. So it's obvious that you're a people person because you sell new homes. Mm -hmm. So what would you say to people who view you when they see you first mm -hmm. off and say, hello, Marcy, how are you? <laughs> what do they feel about you? What do they see that's a part of you? I believe that they see that, you know, I am nice, uh, easy to talk to. Uh, like I guess maybe, maybe sometimes funny. Uh, uh, maybe the only negative thing is sometimes maybe I talk too much. That can't be <laughs> but, negative. No, yeah. but, but that's, I think that's what they see. And your daughter, 28, mm -hmm. which you do not look like you're a mom of a 28-year-old. I'll say that again. What is the one thing that she says about you? Uh, she says that I'm a, a good, loving uh, person. I, I think that's, I think that would be the n number one thing. Your best bud. Yeah, she you got is. one. We hang out. We have fun. 
Yeah. Mm -hmm. And do you have a friend that mm -hmm. you consider to be your best friend? I do. And what would she say is the one thing about you that stands out above everything else? Uh, I would think she'd say that I am, I have a big heart. That is your heart. Yes. So what I'm hearing, you have a big heart, mm -hmm. you're full of humor, mm -hmm. people love you, you're kind, <laughs> and you're also very proud of your daughter. Yes. Okay. Well, guess what? Okay. We're going to find out what people really feel about Marcy. Okay. Are you ready for this? I think so. <laughs> okay, stay tuned. We'll be back. We're going to find out should she open up Pandora's box. Okay. Visit www.theindiepost.com. Welcome back to Curiosity. And welcome back to the reveal. Are you ready, Marcy? I think so. You want to open up Pandora's box? I said I would, so yes. And you want to know what people feel about you? Yes. You sure? I'm sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Give me that hand, girl. First of all, you were right. Most people do feel that you are kind. Good. They feel that you are a good person. Okay. And your heart? Yes, it is kindness and goodness that they feel about you. Right. Isn't that wonderful? That is. And even one friend said that you are the glue that holds all the friends together. Oh, I love that. Who said that? Oh, I can't tell you. Oh. Uh-huh. And guess what? Mm -hmm. Ugh. Oh. You got some news that I don't know if you're ready for. Matter of fact, I don't know if I'm ready for it because I'm going to sit over here because you told me you were military and you could carry a backpack for 14 miles plus a weapon on your back. Yes. All right. Are you ready for this one? Yeah, I guess I am. You had a friend who said that you don't think before you open up your mouth. I did? <laughs> she said that you hurt her feelings because you don't think before you speak. Wow. Who said that? I can't I tell you who said that. Oh, my God. As a matter of fact, she had another little note she added to it that you're condescending. <laughs> No way. And you really hurt her feelings. Oh my God. How does that make you feel? Not good. I, I, that's never what I want to do to make people feel. I, I'm shocked. One of your big friends, one of your buds, <laughs> hmm. feel that you speak to her condescendingly hmm. and that you hurt her feelings. Okay, wow. <laughs> mm -hmm. So what I need to know when we get back from this commercial, what you gonna do about that? How you feel about that? How you gonna handle that? Are you motivated or are you in the frame of mind where you say, it doesn't matter to me what she thinks? We'll find out when we get back. Give me your hand, Marcy. You're listening to Indie Soul Radio with DJ Prone. Spinning the best independent soul school tunes. To advertise with us, visit www.gnauniversalmedia.com. It's Indie Soul Radio. Let us put you in the mix. Marcy, who says, I am kind, I am a good person, I'm funny, and feels that she is really bonded well with her friends, found out that that was all true. Yes. And then she also found out mm -hmm, that she could be condescending, <laughs> that she can actually hurt someone's feelings. Yeah. So Marcy, I looked at your face and it's very obvious to me that you were shocked. Why are you shocked about that? Because I don't think I'm a condescending person. I, I'm really, I, I think I, care about everybody and uh, you know consider you know everybody's unique in and how they uh, present themselves in a situation and in my and you know and friends uh, you know we you know I have a big group of friends so everybody's got different traits that they bring to it and I guess I'm really surprised that I that I don't know I mean I, I know I'm not perfect so uh, I, I do agree that I might say things sometimes um, without thinking. I know that has happened occasionally, and, and I, I, 
I should work on that. And I guess I haven't really done that. So let me ask you, you're saying that you have never heard from anyone or looked in anyone's eyes and wondered, did I just hurt their feelings? Was I too blunt? Should I thought about a little bit before I said something? You never felt that before. Uh, I'm sure, I, I know I did a couple times, but just it seems like it was so rare that that wouldn't be what somebody was remembering about me. So that's why I'm pretty shocked. So do you feel that the military mm -hmm. aspect of your life mm -hmm. could have made it where you're more blunt, sharp, to the point, don't have to think about what I say? Is that possible? Uh, yeah, that's possible for sure. Mm -hmm. yeah. But you don't see yourself that way. No. I, I mean, I know that I do speak, you know, freely. Uh, I certainly can speak my mind, but I do think that I've reined it in, and I, I just don't think that, I, I think I do consider people's scenarios and, and whatever scenario I'm in, I should say, that, that I would not do that. So, so someone in your group, yeah. you got a friend I, in <laughs> your group who may not feel like your other friends, they may feel hurt yeah. by the fact that you're blunt, the fact that you can be condescending. Ooh, ouch, hate yeah, to even say that I, word. I know, I, okay. that's the worst. <laughs> so what we're gonna do, we're gonna find out what you're gonna do about that. Maybe you decide, I don't believe it, I'm not changing, or maybe you might wanna take some consideration and think about a change. We'll find that out, okay? okay. All right, you're making me feel. <laughs> we'll be back after this commercial. want to fire me? A star? I'm a star! All Listen. you care about is your stupid no. music and boots. Here with us tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Leonardo Lombardi! Did that guy hit you? No, Pete! Get up! No! What are you? What do you want? I want you to come home with Go me. Go home! Look at this! What? You are a mess! You are a disgusting mess! I, you know, get out of here! I can't stand it anymore! I don't know what I do! Why do I put up this? Hey. Hey, <laughs> she ain't looking too sober. Let me go up and check on her. I need a Long Island iced tea. Send me his picture. I want to see who you think can replace Nettie. Let that guy get into your head. He's nothing. Don't pay it. Don't if pay I attention to him. If I get a dumbbell, I would Nettie. hit him in the head. Nettie. Two months from now, I'm opening up a new company called the Star Connect. Um, that's kind of it's kind of beneath me. You're late. And who are you? Amy. We go together like peaches and cream. Hey, 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 no, no. Hey, 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 stop throwing stuff. You want to go where? You want to go to Africa for your senior trip? I, I, I barely survived paying my bills, Emma. I'm not too comfortable with that. Give all that cash in the house. Oh. Grandpa has money hidden in the house, like a secret treasure. He said his dad has $75,000 hidden in the house. I will have nothing to do with robbing from that dear, sweet, old... $75,000, cat. I'm listening. I thought you would. Mm. What's the plan? Nobody, I mean nobody knows what we did, where we did, how we did okay. it, nothing. Okay, 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 okay. Nettie, okay, okay, say okay. you understand. Nettie? Understand what, Lee? That's what I want to know. Why am I here on a Tuesday? So how was your gig last night? You, <laughs> you had to ask. Here with us tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Leonardo Lombardi! Me, 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 me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I sound like a bitch. 
Damn. Well, I ain't got time for messing around. I ain't got time for games. Welcome back to Curiosity. Wow, it's been a deep conversation for me and I know for Marcy. Yes. I mean, she was so curious to find out what her friends thought about her and what they revealed. Ooh, got her feeling a little down. You feel a little down? Just a little. Mm -hmm. So guess what she learned? She learned that she could be condescending. Yeah. And you learn that you can hurt some people's feelings by being direct or, as they say, you don't think about what you're going to say before you say it. Mm -hmm. So what you're going to do about it? Do you believe that to be true? I don't think I'm condescending. So mm -hmm. that bothers me to know who said that. That's, you know, because I, I disagree completely. Uh, mm. I do know that I have, you know, been told that, that I've you know, speak sometimes, you know, without thinking. That's, that's true. How many times have you heard that? Um, a, I don't know, a few. And I guess I hear like, kind of like shoot from the hip, you know, kind mm -hmm. of uh, terminology. I've heard that a couple times from some people that, that know me. Uh, so I know that I should work on that. And I believe I, I'm going to work harder on it. I, I thought I was. And so it's shocking to me that somebody it had to be a, such an isolated incident, and for them to have made that something to say about me is, yeah, it, it's hurtful. <laughs> well, there's two things I want you to think about. Number one, that 47% of most people lie to you. So even though they may not say it to you, mm -hmm. they might say, oh, that was a great night, mm -hmm. that maybe in the back of their mind they're saying, boy, she's hard. Boy, she say things without thinking about it. That's one way to think about mm -hmm. it, right? Mm -hmm. And then the other part of the think about it, if it's just one person, do you worry about it? Do you make that something right. that you've got to think about on your way home right. and not lose sleep over? Right. So what you gonna do? Yeah, well, I'm not gonna lose sleep over it. <laughs> uh, I, I think, you know, overall, um, I'm a good person who is, you know, does care, and I do care about people's feelings, and but mm -hmm. sometimes you can't, I guess. Uh, you have to live your life and, you know, be true to yourself, right? So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm going to do my best to, you know, think about some things, but I'm, I'm not going to focus on that and say that, that I'm going to, you know, worry about that, that person if they're, you know, I apologize if that's how they felt. Mm -hmm. So I'll say well, that good. right that's here good. if, you know, they're going to watch this. I, I do. Yeah. I do. And I'm, I, I'm sorry uh, for sure. So that part, I, I think that's enough for me. To okay. What I do. Now, let me tell you, let's be real. Let's mm -hmm. be real. You're in a group of girlfriends, mm -hmm. all your friends. You the glue to hold everybody together. Mm -hmm. You're kind. You're mm -hmm. good. Mm -hmm. You're funny. Are you now going to look at all those friends and be like, which one of them think that I am condescending? <laughs> Are you going to be the person to stop and say, I want to say this, but I might hurt somebody's feelings? Are you going to be the Marine and whatever come out, come out? <laughs> and you got to deal uh, with it. Well, Where are you going with that? I'm definitely gonna, a Marine. I am that way, no matter uh -huh. what. Okay, so that is that's <laughs> that is me, and that's uh -huh. part of my personality. They, uh -huh. they have to accept that. But no, I'm not going to... No, I'm not going to call anybody out on that because you know what? Everyone does have the right to their opinion and the right to feel how they feel. I mean, that, that's what I'm saying. That's how I, I live my life. You know, everyone has different opinions and, and feelings and how they want to live their life. And, is, you know, that's, so that's fine. There you have it. All right. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you for allowing your curiosity to learn something new. And thank you for still being a strong woman. If you think Marcy Reveal was interesting, this strong veteran, you want to tune in to next week. I'm Renee Punyard, and curiosity is the show you need to stick with. I mean, after all, curiosity killed the cat, but will satisfaction bring it back? See you next time. ndmetv.com, the everybody network.